find the cosine of the arctangent of 8. Keep in mind, when you see arctangent of 8, the arctangent function is going to return an angle whose tangent is 8. And it is that angle that we want the cosine of here. Well, the tangent function turns out to be positive in the first and third quadrants. But the arctangent function, if you give it a positive argument, will return an angle that's in the first quadrant. So at this point, what we'd like to do is we'd like to draw a triangle. And I will draw the triangle right here. You'll see in a minute while I'm making it so tall. And I will write down the definition Sokotoa. And we are working with the arctangent of 8 right now, so it's worthwhile writing the tangent function. Tangent of theta is the opposite side over the adjacent side. So what we have here is we're trying to find an angle whose tangent is equal to 8. That's the same as saying the ratio of the opposite side to the adjacent side is equal to 8. So if you take this as your angle theta right here, I have this drawn in this fashion because the opposite side being 8 and the adjacent side being 1, there is a right triangle which has an angle theta whose tangent is equal to 8. Now by the Pythagorean theorem, if I were to call the length of the hypotenuse here, let's just call it x, then what we would have is we would have 1 squared plus 8 squared is equal to x squared. 1 squared is 1. 8 squared is 64. 1 plus 64 is 65. Taking the square root of both sides and ignoring the negative on the plus or minus, because we are looking at a length here, we get x is equal to the square root of 65. So finally, the last part of this question is asking you for the cosine of this angle and to find the cosine we go back to the definition of cosine and that is adjacent over hypotenuse. So if you look at this angle and you go adjacent which is 1 divided by hypotenuse which is the square root of 65 you get 1 over the square root of 65 as the cosine of the arctangent of 8.